Hey, welcome back to Good Morning San Diego. San Diego Restaurant Week kicks off Sunday. Joining us now with more is Southern California Chapter Manager Christina Owenberg. Good morning, Christina. How are you? Good morning, Paul. I'm great. Thanks so much for having me this morning. That smile on your face suggests <laughs> you are just happy, just relieved to be having a restaurant week. Wow, we are so happy. Restaurant Week is finally back after over about a year and a half. We haven't had uh, Restaurant Week since January 2020, so for, we are extremely excited. For those living in a cave, please explain what <laughs> Restaurant Week is. Yeah, so Restaurant Week is a week-long campaign. It starts this Sunday. And, you know, in a nutshell, it's, it's supporting the restaurants, which we, you know, we desperately need right now. Um, but the diners also get a great deal. Um, they can come out. We have prefix menus for lunch. Uh, it's between 10 and $25 and for dinner, 20 to $60. And the diners are just getting a great deal and getting to explore new restaurants or, you know, head back to their their old, you know, favorite spots that they may have not been to for, you know, the past year. Is this countywide or where are the restaurants? I, I, how many restaurants and where are they located? Yes, we have over 80 restaurants participating and they're all across San Diego, you know, from downtown Coronado up to North County and inland. So all across the county. And how do you find out which restaurant is participating and which is not? So we have all the restaurants listed on our website, uh, as well as the restaurant week menus and price points. Uh, you can also go search by cuisine or neighborhood to find your favorite restaurants that so are participating. It's a, it's a great chance to, you know, we all get into that groove of we go to the same four places for the rest of our life. This is a chance <laughs> to branch out a little bit and, and really find out if that's the best lasagna in town or the best, <laughs> right? I mean... Yeah, exactly. This is a great opportunity to get out and try that, you know, try that restaurant or that new spot that you've been dying to try. Um, and you kind of get a sampling of all their different offerings. So the tagline is, it's your time to dine. Is that? That's right. So uh, San Diego's time to dine. Very cool. Very cool. So uh, it kicks off Sunday. How, how do people get involved? Is it, do you have to buy your tickets in advance? So no tickets are required. Just head over to the website to make your reservations. Uh, reservations are filling up. So make sure you head over to the website, check out the menus and make a reservation today. Is this just for the la -di da restaurants or are, is every is it across the board, the cross spectrum? So it's fast casual, um, you know, up to your upscale restaurants. We have, you know, it's just some quick grab and go spots participating. And then, yeah, like I said, some nice upscale restaurants. So um, it's, it's a fit for everybody. Okay, now I hate to put you on the spot because you're gonna say a restaurant and then some seven other guys are gonna say, why didn't you say our place? But what are some places <laughs> that we should check out in your so opinion? We have a, a lot of great restaurants participating this year. That's a, that's a, that's a hard question. But, you know, we have, um, you know, Bali High and Tom Hams down um, in Point Loma. We have up to uh, Carte Blanche, which is a, a new restaurant within the last, they just opened within the last year and that's up in North County. Uh, Allegro, who uh, just opened within the last couple of months in Little Italy. So sure. a lot of great spots. Yeah, a lot of awesome new spots. And what is the try. mood in the industry as we say goodbye? Oh, is, is there optimism or is there is there dread? Of, we're not really going to know what the pandemic did to the restaurant business in, for a couple of months still. You know, I think... Um, I think the outlook is good. We are starting to reopen and, you know, there's some light at the end of the tunnel. So I, th I think the mood, you know, is optimistic and we're really hoping that we get to 50% and eventually to 100% very, very soon. Christina, on that optimistic note, I wish you a happy restaurant week. Thanks so much, Paul. Thanks for having me. We will be participating, I guarantee. All awesome. Right. Meanwhile,